Hi friends, welcome to the seventh video of the pharmacovigilance series. In the previous video, we discussed causality assessment. In this video, we will talk with Amrita on MEDRA. Welcome Amrita. Thank you. So Amrita, it will be great to start with the basic description of MEDRA. Yes, certainly. MEDRA stands for Medical Dictionary for Regulatory Activities. Okay. MEDRA is an extensive medical terminology which helps in public health monitoring, data management, data analysis and communication. Mm -hmm. MEDRA came into existence when it was found that use of different medical terminologies during drug development process made it difficult to cross-reference and analyze the data. Conversion of data from one terminology to another was a time-taking process mm -hmm. and a costly affair as well. Okay. Data conversion also led to loss or distortion of data. Okay. Uh, so, can you please explain this with an example? Yes. There can be many terminologies for the same disease and people can report adverse effects related to a medicine in different languages. Right. For instance, feeling of nausea can be reported as feeling of puking, feeling of vomiting. Correct. Now, these different terms for the same disease can create confusion and duplication of same adverse effect report. Okay. And there are chances of losing exact data when translated from one language to other language. Okay. To overcome this problem, many models of terminologies were tried. And mm -hmm. finally, MEDRA was developed. Right. Now, what MEDRA does? Mm -hmm. It converts the reported terms in a standardized medical terminology mm -hmm. to create uniformity across its use. Okay. So, how does MEDRA ensure uniformity that you have been talking about? In MEDRA, there is an 8-digit code number assigned to every terminology. Okay. Now, these codes are just identification numbers and not coded information. Okay. And they do not reflect organization or dictionary. Mm -hmm. Coder takes the original verbatim describing adverse event Mm -hmm. such as patient complain about having a headache. Okay. Now, this term will be coded in MEDRA term, such as 1001-9211 for headache. Okay. Now, this coded term will be used for further review process, mm -hmm. which allows standardization of documentation, mm -hmm. irrespective of country, language, and other things. Okay, got it. So, where is METRA used uh, with respect to the medicine life cycle? Well, METRA is used in both pre and post market stage. Okay. Apart from regulators, mm -hmm. it is also used by industry, academics, healthcare professionals mm -hmm. and other organizations who communicate medical information. Okay. As you just said that METRA has a role to play in pre and post market stage of a therapeutic product yes then i think uh, it must be updated regularly somewhere and uh, according to the changes in the regulation as well so is there any organization which maintains medra yes medra needs to be updated regularly according to change in regulatory aspects mm -hmm. and medical and scientific aspects okay mso that is maintenance and support service organization mm -hmm. maintains and upgrades the metra okay mso releases updated metra versions twice a year okay. in march and september okay so thank you amrita thank you friends this brings us to the end of the seventh video of pharmacovigilance series in the next video we shall discuss signal management process with amrita Thanks for watching.